The key inspiration behind the work is, um, uh, is sort of nothing, <laughs> if I can quantify nothing. Like, um, it was trying to sculpt in a way with nothing. What I, I began kind of thinking about with this work, um, looking for a way to give shape or give form to nothing. So, well, you know, in the sort of um, least, it's kind of like a drawing as well. It's like, uh, you know, giving form to the in intangible, like you have a thought and you make a mark and it's evidence of some something intangible or invisible. And uh, these sculptures have kind of come out with a long investigation into um, giving some sort of form to invisible forces, whether they be kind of psychic phenomena or just um, air, space, um, magic, uh, thoughts. So, uh, you know, I guess it's the, the shape of thought in a way, wrestled into being somehow. The concept I'm trying to communicate, it's a, it's a tricky word concept. I think maybe I'm less trying to communicate a concept than rather set up a situation of a sensibility or a shared sensibility where uh, the, the person standing next to the object gets a sense of transference through, through the object, like it's like their eyes pull them through the, the, the material, so they're, they're both standing outside and inside the object at the same time. So it's, it's kind of a, it's a sense of, um, or an experience, I guess, I'm trying to share or communicate in a way, um, yeah, sense, uh, it's like becoming sense or the, the sensibleness of stuff. <laughs> with the, the technique for this that I came up with for this work came about oh, probably 10 years ago when I was um, visiting, uh, doing a show in New Zealand and uh, I met a prop maker there who uh, showed me this material, this fabulous material that I've kind of never looked back from since then because I've been able to do so many, you know, shapes and forms and ideas through it. it because it's, you know, it's a, it's a heat formable plastic and I, all I need is a heat gun and a um, sheet of plastic that I'm able to create kind of, you know, there's, you know, I can get quite large forms and I can, and they're self-supporting. It, it answers a lot of my kind of um, questions into sculptural form, you know, through playing and, you know, I can't really know what the shapes will be. So it always keeps me engaged in guessing and I'm never bored. I, I mean, I do get fed up with it. It's not the most wonderful, it's not the nicest material to work with. It's plastic and it stinks and it's probably not very good for your health to work with it, but I'm, um, you know, I continually kind of find new, new ways of applying it.